My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some UI path. Today we will see how we can use dynamic selectors in our workflow. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new exciting videos that will come up with UiPath and RPA. And let's get started. So first we just create a normal workflow that do some calculations here on our calculator. So let's find an open application. And I strongly encourage you to do the operations yourself at home because you'll learn a lot from that. And just pause the video, it's designed for that. So open application and then indicate window on screen, click there. Choose the calculator. This, this activity will just open the calculator and then we'll do some operations on it. So we'll find some clicks. Click. Drag this guy in here in the do. Indicate element inside window. So we'll just do a simple addition. So two. Drag in another guy here. Another click. Then we'll choose plus. A third click. And then the second number, just choose whatever number you want, choose three. And then we will have a uh, equal sign here. So indicate the equal sign like this. And we get uh, something. So we, what we do here is that we say open the application two plus three equal sign. And then we want to get this five and display it. So um, we will, uh, the get text will not work here. So we'll choose the get OCR text, that one will work. And we'll indicate uh, this guy up here. And um, then we'll need to choose a variable here in the output so we can display it. So press Control K in the output text, str, resolve, we can call it, call it whatever you want. Then go, we can go down to variables and we can see that there's a str result here of the variable type generic value. We'll choose, change that to string. And the scope is two. I think we'll do it. Uh, we'll change it to the whole outer sequence, so the sequence like this. And then we can choose a message box, and we will just drag this guy in here, and then uh, we'll have our variable str result. So we'll display that in the message box. We can even close down the application up here, like before we display the result. We will just close down the application. So uh, drag this guy in here and indicate the application. So this is a rather simple workflow that will just do a simple cal calculation. What we'll uh, need to do is that we can, uh, let me close this one down. We can inspect that it actually works before we create our dynamic selectors. So two plus three equals five and we'll have a message box in a moment that will display our result five. So that's right. However, say that we want to change these two guys here, then we can't because we just hard coded in uh, the selector. Um, so let's create a dynamic selector. First, uh, let's uh, just rename these because uh, then we will have an easier time uh, recognizing what we're actually doing. So click and then we can say first number. And this is a click button plus, that's fine maybe. And let's just click second number like this. Click equals, that's fine. Then here, get OCR text, and then we can just say maybe get OCR text result. Like this. Close application, we can change this to um, calculator if we want to get really. Uh, so we can just calcu calculator like this. And then the message box, that's fine. And we can, of course, choose it up here. So let's just do it while we are at it. It's always nice to have uh, nice titles. So open applications, calculator, like this. So now we want to change these two guys here. And what we'll need to do is that we will take two input dialogs. So we let the user decide what numbers to be entered. So input dialog. And in the label, we could uh, write in, uh, please give me uh, the first number and then out here in the output we will store the whatever input the uh, uh, user gives so control k str number one like this we can go down here to our variables and we can see that we uh, have str number one let's change that to a string as well then we'll drag in another input dialog that's our second um, variable so please give me the second number 
and uh, here in the output control k str number two change that to a string as well like this and now what we need to do is that we need to um, create two dynamic selectors here so um, we can see here that um, let's click the three ribbons here edit the selector and let me open the calculator now it's over here and we can see here that uh, this one uh, it was number two you remember that that was this, this guy up here and we can see that it actually works now i can find it when the calculator is open and we can see that um, if we change this to number three then it uh, won't work validate it and that's because this name here is here so what we do here is that we can still have this number three button and then we can just change this to an asterisk like this and we can inspect that it works so now we can change it and we can even highlight it and we can see that it now changed to number three and we can do that say that we want to change it to number eight we can validate it and we can see that it's up here so uh, now we know how we can create a, a dynamic selector so let's just cancel this but because what we need to do is we can create it up here uh, this is uh, rather tricky not really tricky but you know you need to know how we do so click here here in this field and this is the end we can see so just type in one letter like an a click outside it and then you can click the three dots here it won't work uh, if you don't type in one character so click the three dots and we can see that we get an expression editor here um so first let's click clicks inside it and then delete this a and now we can uh, change whatever we want so we wanted to have an asterisk here like this and then instead of we wanted to have this change and we want to uh, use the first input from up here so we need to delete the two then we will add a quotation mark plus then our first variable str number one plus and a quotation mark so now we created the first dynamic selector. This one will take whatever the user inputs in uh, the first input dialog. So click OK. Then we'll do the same with the second number. And you can see here that as I talked before, if we click this, we will just open uh, this guy. And we can edit it here or we can, but it won't work. So click inside the selector here. Scroll down to the end. Click an A or in the beginning, just you need to know where you type it. You can type it in the middle, but it's easier to find in the back. Click outside and then click the three dots. Click up, side, up in the expression editor, delete the A, and then here in the name, have an asterisk. And then uh, here, we'll delete this, and then a we'll quotation mark plus str number two, sorry then plus and a quotation mark so now we created the second um, dynamic selector so these so we get two numbers in here and we can now type them in here and here and get another result but what we need to do is that uh, here in the get ogr text um, we can see click the three ribbons edit the selector and we can see here that uh, there's uh, something that we need to change because display is five that this one could change so this one, um, let me just, uh, let us write in 8 plus 9, so this is 17, so let's try to uh, have an asterisk here as well, and see, validate it, and we can see that it actually works, it will find it, so click OK, and now we can try uh, our calculator with um, our two dynamic selectors and a tuned um, OCR text, so we will run the file. first number that could be 5 the second number could be 9 so now you'll see that it opened 5 plus 9 so far so good equals 14 and hopefully we'll get a message box with 14 so that's how you create dynamic selectors remember the key takeaways here is that when you create a dynamic selector you can use the three ribbons here you need to type something in here first I know it sounds strange and then you can click um, here the expression editor right if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up that will really help me a lot and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get all the new uipath videos with that said have a good day bye bye